everyone, this is David Wood with Act 17. I'm about to share with you a clip of Nabil and Paul's arrests. We've been saying all along that Nabil was having a peaceful conversation with Muslims on a public street and that Paul and I were standing there recording when we were approached by police officers and arrested. In response, uh, people from local Christian groups to uh, the police department all the way up to the mayor have said that we were inciting the crowd, that we were harassing people, that we were screaming at Muslims, and that we were even trying to get arrested. Uh, allow me to read two excerpts from the police report concerning our arrests. As a result of Qureshi screaming into the crowd while uniformed officers were present, and the fact that the crowd had increased in numbers and agitation, all three were handcuffed and escorted to the police command post in an attempt to gain control of the situation and avoid a possible riotous crowd. Nagin Mayal, Nabil Qureshi, David Wood, and Paul Rezkala's actions caused a crowd to gather and become agitated. The weather conditions, hot and humid temperatures, fueled an already agitated crowd. This was evident by the crowd's yelling profanities and repeated calls to security and police on the behavior of Mayal, Qureshi, Wood, and Rezkala. When uniformed officers were present, Qureshi was yelling into the crowd, further inciting the crowd. So that's the Dearborn Police Department's version of events. Nabil was screaming at the crowd of Muslims. A riot was about to start, and just in the nick of time, police intervened by arresting us for our illegal activities. It's an interesting story, but the Dearborn PD made one fatal mistake in all of this. They gave us back our video cameras without erasing the footage. Now let's see what really happened. I'm going to 
So in the Old Testament, we see a prophecy saying that a child will be born to you and he will be the mighty God. In the Old Testament, it actually says the mighty God will be born as a child to you. And in actuality, we tend to see like God is the everlasting Father, God the Lord, will be born to you. So this is a prophecy that really happens. You said actually God is the Lord. That's a question. What we find in the New Testament is that in order, in order for, for God to take our sins away from us, He can't just lay them away. Uh, if God was just to lay away sins, He wouldn't be a just God. So He takes our sins upon Himself. He says, all right, I can't just lay these sins away. That wouldn't make me a just God. I'm going to pay those sins for you. That's how much He loves us. And so He comes into the world as a man, and He takes our sins for us. He doesn't love all sins. He doesn't have to do with them. Good question, guys. I'm wondering if anyone else had a question? Yep. Where in the Bible says, can you find the Bible that says, when Jesus says, I'm going to die next to you? Well, in the Bible, when people, in the Bible, you go to the Bible, you can find the Bible. Okay. Let me. Okay. Did you notice something missing from that footage? Screaming? A riot on the horizon, perhaps? You just saw Nabil Qureshi peacefully sharing his views with a group of Muslims who were asking him questions. Paul and I were standing there recording. If you were watching closely, you might have even seen me in the background getting arrested. By the way, if you are interested in a timeline, Nagin was arrested about 15 minutes before the rest of us. Was Nabil screaming at anyone? No. Was there a crowd about to riot? No. Well, why exactly were we arrested? The Dearborn Police Department is obviously lying in an effort to justify their repeated violations of our constitutional rights. My friends, do you see what's going on in Dearborn? If you're a Christian and you think that the Constitution actually applies to you in that city, they're going to harass you. They're going to conspire against you. They're going to lie about you. They'll get the mayor to come out against you. Even other Christians will attack you. What's going on? Are we, as American citizens, going to stand for this? Think about it. The only reason, the only reason we're able to expose what's going on is that we had video cameras. What happens when you're in Dearborn? and the police department and the mayor decide to violate your rights and you don't have video cameras. When people like this are in power, no one is safe. And so I invite every American citizen, Christian or non-Christian, to contact your local politicians and to contact the police department and the mayor's office and tell them what you think of their actions and of the fact that we're still going to court over this. We have to face trial. We cannot allow this, my fellow Americans. God bless you.